Welcome to Dark Moon Cards and Games. Check out the link in the description for all of your Pokemon trading card game needs. Hey guys, this is Joel from uh, Dark Moon Cards and Games. Uh, we're kicking off our series of pre-releases from the new Cosmic Eclipse set. Uh, our first pre-release was held on Monday at Just Games Lexington, located at 314 South Main Street in historic Lexington, Virginia. So stop by and see them. Uh, they have a very nice selection of Magic the Gathering, uh, Pokemon, and lots of other cool board games and card games. We had a very nice turnout and saw a lot of players get some really great pulls. So we'll get to all of that in just a moment. Today's video features both me and Noah from our Lexington League uh, opening our kits. Plus, we'll get a quick look at some of the best polls from other players at this pre-release, but first, a little more about Noah. Noah competed at the uh, 2019 World Championships in Washington, D.C. This was his first Worlds, and really his first full year in competitive play. But he has demonstrated great versatility, and by that I mean he can pick up any deck and learn it and play it well. The new 2020 season is well underway, and he he is already chipping away at the uh, point total needed to make the next Worlds, uh, which is in London next year, next August. Uh, Noah has competed in and placed at early regionals and won several League Cups and challenges, so keep your eye on him this year. So without further ado, we'll get into uh, Noah's kit first, and you can see right away he got the, uh, for his promo card, he got the Buzzwall. Buzzwall's pretty cool, he does 20 more damage uh, for each prize card that you have taken, and he also does 60 damage for his base uh, attack stat, and he heals 30 damage from himself, so definitely good in pre-releases, we'll see if he gets into the formats or, uh, or not. We'll go into his first pack, and see what we get in pack number one. And see a not too uh, palpitoed looks like. Uh, can't make out all these guys unfortunately. There's a uh, Lolan Vulpix Bisharp which is uh, not a rare. That's kind of cool. Means you pull more of those. And for his rare he got a Weezing. Weezing has a cool ability. Uh, Blow Away Bomb says that if you discard him with the supporter card Roxy, you place one damage counter on each of your opponent's Pokemon, then he attacks for 90 damage, and then you discard him. As we get into Noah's second pack, see a uh, Cricket Tot, a Cosmog, Draw Energy, which is interesting. Uh, basically, when you attach it, it allows you to draw one more card. Uh, clay, which we'll talk about that more too. I think that'll definitely see some play in the format. And then for his uh, rare, he got a Marshadow. Marshadow uh, basically does what the Mimikyu currently in the format does. You choose one of your opponent's active Pokemon's non-GX attacks, and you use it as your own attack. As Noah gets into his third pack here, we see a Passimian, Rowlet, a Lillipup, a Pikachu, the new, a Cynthia Caitlin, which is a tag team supporter. It's a new mechanic in the Cosmic Eclipse, which we'll talk about that in a little bit. And as you can see, got a Wishy Washy GX. His Wishy Washy GX has two attacks. The first, uh, School Storm, does 20 damage for each of your Wishy Washy and Wishy Washy GX in play, which you can have four of each in a deck, so at most you can have six and play it once, which means only 120 damage for two water energy, um, but at a dismal 130 HP. I don't see how this will make it into the format. Um, see, then it's uh, GX move, massive catch GX. Look at the top 12 cards of your deck and put any number of basic Pokemon you find in those 12 cards onto your bench, which is interesting for one energy, but probably won't see much play either. There is a non GX wishy washy. In the set, which is uh, a much more interesting card, we'll have to see if we see it in any of these other packs. So if we get into his uh, fourth and final pack here, uh, see another handful of basics. Uh, he gets a roller skater supporter, 
Lily's Clefadol, which is an interesting card, which we'll talk about as well. Um, and for his uh, last pack, he got the Blastoise Piplup GX. Blastoise and Pip Piplup GX Tag Team. Uh, this is the alternate artwork uh, version, which as you can see adds some very detailed graphic design to the card. Uh, the card itself is very playable. Its first attack, Splash Maker, does 150 damage for 3 energy, but it also allows you to attach up to 3 water energy from your hand to your field in any way that you like. And for each uh, water energy attached, you heal 50 damage from that Pokemon. Uh, this means you can use this effect to tank your Blastoise Piplup tag team, or you can heal wherever you need to elsewhere on the field. Its uh, GX move, Bubble Launcher GX, does 100 damage and paralyzes your opponent's active Pokemon. And if you have three extra water energies attached to your Bla Blastoise Piplup uh, GX, it does 150 more damage, bringing that total to 250 damage with paralysis. Wow. So as we get into Noah's uh, C deck, you see Buzzwall, their Professor Oak setup, Tate and Liza, a 2 2 line of Cricketot and Cricket Tune with its lengthy uh, one energy attack. Um, see, there is a 2 2 line of Deerling and Salzbuck, which is a card I like a lot. Uh, Roxy. Looks like a Red's Challenge, Erica's Hospitality, a Pokemon Communication, and a 3-2-2 line of Dust Noir. Uh, so there are several different ways that uh, he can take this seed deck, and we will check back here in a few moments and see which way Noah takes it. Alright, so we will get into my um, pre-release kit and my seed deck. Uh, see, my seed, kit, seed deck contains the uh, same promo buzz wall that Noah got. Um, like I said, very strong in a pre-release. I guess we'll have to see what else is in my pack and see whether that's the way I go or not. Um, so, let's see, I got a Professor... Let's look at these supporters here. I got a Professor Oaks setup, uh, which lets you search for three different uh, basic Pokemon, I think, of different types. A Red's Challenge and a Erica's Hospitality. See, I got the same line as Noah. I got a 2-2 two, two line of Cricketot and Cricketune. Cricketune's uh, big uh, tag here is called Inspirational Performance. See, it does 30 damage. Uh, has all sorts of conditions here. If you have exactly one card in your hand, it does 100 more damage. If you have three cards in your hand, your opponent's active Pokemon is confused. If you have six cards in your hand, this attack does 30 damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. My next line here is a 2-2 line of Deerling and Salzbuck, which I think Salzbuck can be a very pesky uh, non-GX uh, attacker in this format. Its uh, ability, Seasonal Blessings, just lets you draw one card, um, additional card each turn, which that's stackable, so the more you have in play, the more you get to draw. And Bounce kind of takes me back to the days of Donphan, with a... Uh, Pretty solid hit and run attack. It does 60 damage and then you switch Saul's back, back to the bench. And next up, let's see, you've got a special energy, a draw energy. It's very simple. I like simple. Uh, you attach it to a Pokemon, you draw an extra card, and then to round out the trainers for the seed deck, I have a Tate and Liza, Red's Challenge, and Pokemon Communication. And then, let's see, for different from Noah, he got that Dust Noir line. I got a line of three Piplup, two Printpulp, and then two Empoleon. And people seem to not be looking at these uh, stage two guys much. This one I think is worth looking at. Uh, there's a one energy attack called Recall, which lets you use any of your previous uh, evolutions attacks. And I think when the intention with that uh, move on Empoleon is to go back to Piplup's attack. Uh, Piplup's attack, Bubble Hold, does 80 damage, and if the defending Pokemon is a basic Pokemon, it cannot attack on the next turn, which is very good in this uh, format of big basic uh, tag teams right now. So I'm going to get into my booster packs and see what we can add to these uh, to the seed deck. And first pack up, I uh, got a Tepig. 
Coach Damaru. Uh, Onyx, uh, three energies for 100, looks like. A Whalmer. Palpitoad, seems to be a lot of these in the packs that we got anyway. Phantump in the reverse spot. And a Palosand, which is always an interesting Pokemon. Has nice HP, but its attacks always cost too much. And also got a tag team supporter of our own, Mallow and Lana. Lana's Fishing Rod. And a Vaporeon, which looks like a pretty decent um, non-rare. And moving on to uh, the second pack. So you got a Woobat, which I don't think I've ever played in any deck in any form. Ducklet. Swirlix. A Lolan Grimer. A Slugma. Reverse Tojidamaru. And holy cow, Giant Hearth. That is, wow. That is a very beautiful card. It's a reprint of the uh, Hearth in one of these last sets, but that's a, that made this pre-release worth it for me anyway. Psychic Energy, uh, Cosmoam. There's the clay. Uh, it says discard the top seven cards of your deck. If any of those cards are items, I think you put them into your hands. So that's pretty interesting. And there's another one of those Cricketunes. I may be looking at a Cricketune deck here. We'll have to see what happens in pack number three. Another Onyx. That's a possibility as well. A Whalmer. Palpitoad. Somebody wants me to play Palpitoad, although I don't think have I have the basic of that yet. Cricketot. Apom. Which you new know, colors guys can fit into these pre-release. Another Onyx. So uh, maybe looking at an Onyx deck. Rare as Helio Isk. Uh, if your opponent has any electric Pokemon in play, it does more damage. It's a possibility, I guess. Gloom. Celio. And a Bisharp, which he always is uh, decent for pre releases as well. Decent HP, usually doesn't have a huge energy attack cost. So, pack number four here, I guess we'll decide which way this whole, uh, whole deck will go. We got a Coughing, Drillbur, Swirlix. That's the second of those, I believe. Another Cricketot, so we're looking pretty good on the straight Cricketune deck. Uh, Woobat. Pyroar. In the reverse spot, which is cool that I don't have the lit Litleo. And there is a Togepi tag team. It's one of the three character tag teams. Um, that may change things a little bit. We'll have to look a little bit closer at what he does. So this is Togepi and Cleffa and Iglybuff GX all on one. Uh, fighting Energy. Torkoal. Uh, three Fire Energies for 100. It's not terrible. Gloom. And a Floet to round out that last pack. Let's, uh, let's get back and look at this tag team. Uh, this first attack, Rolling Panic, 3 energies, uh, 120 damage, and then you flip and 2 you get tails, and it does 30 for each heads. That's interesting. And then his GX move, uh, Supreme Puff GX. So Supreme Puff GX simply says, take another turn after this one. Uh, and you skip the in-between turn steps, so no poison or anything like that if that's uh, in play. And if this... Pokemon has at least 14 extra fairy energies attached to it. In addition to the attack cost, uh, your opponent shuffles all of their bench Pokemon and all cards attached to them into their deck, which would be massively devastating if that seemed remotely possible, but that'd be a total of 16 energies onto him at once. I'm not sure that's possible, but take that ludicrous uh, thought aside. That GX move is very interesting. Uh, no damage, but you just get to advance. Basically skip your opponent's turn and just take another turn. So draw another card. And that allows you to attach your 
third energy and start attacking, which for a pre-release is pretty amazing. And I think I just figured out what my deck is going to be. I think this will be a very, uh, very simple deck to follow. And we'll go back and look real quick at a couple of these other cards. Um, this first one, Roxy, discard. Do two Pokemon cards from your hand, excluding GX. Uh, for each one you discard, you draw three cards from your deck, so that's potentially drawing six cards. Oak setting, search your deck for three basic Pokemons, put them on your bench. It's interesting as well. Then we have this Mallow and Lana. Switch your active Pokemon with one of your benched Pokemon. When you play this card, you may discard two cards from your hand. If you do, you heal on 120 damage from the new active Pokemon. So I've got my deck together. We're going with Togepi and Cleffa and Iglybuff GX as the only Pokemon. A few supporters, which may or may not be necessary. Erica's Hospitality, Tate and Liza. Got two reds challenges and then 35 energies. I'm going to go try to get that second turn um, GX move and then just start attacking uh, before my opponent can really do anything, which usually is pretty, uh, pretty solid in a pre-release. We'll have to see how that works out, and we're going to also look at Noah's deck. Noah's going a little different route here. He's sticking with his uh, seed deck, but including the Blastoise, uh, that Weezing. Going to get a mix of energies here, so you can uh, you can use those guys. Uh, has the Buzz Wall promo included, and it's got up a Simeon in there as well. So got a little bit of. Uh, everything going on. We'll see how that works out for him. So we thought we would uh, get everybody else from the pre-release to uh, line up and show off some of the good cards they got as well. Uh, and before we show you all those, there's a couple of things to point out. There were uh, there are a full art um, version of some of the commons in these, uh, which is I don't think I've ever seen that before. Basic Pokemon like Piplup and uh, the Keeping a Weezing that have this really cool full art full art background. Um, I get to see a couple of those in here, so it's one of the many things that's added to this set, which is one of the reasons this is such a massive set. It's got a lot of different cards. Uh, introduces so many uh, new trainer uh, supporters, items, stadiums uh, at one time to a set, which, which we normally don't see this far into a series uh, like Sun and Moon. But at any rate, we will... Uh, Let's take a look at uh, what everybody got. So we'll start off with the Reshram Zekrom GX. This is the alternate art version. We'll look at that a little bit more in depth in just a second. And here is that uh, full art uh, coughing. It's a rare, but it's just a full art printing of the basic coughing from the set. So Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia GX. Uh, ultimate Ray, three energies, does 150. Uh, similar to Pikachu Zekrom, lets you search your deck for three basic energies and attach them to your Pokemon any way you like. There's a full art version of the uh, Mimikyu, which is also has a regular version in the set. Or a Choreo GX with a ability that might see a little play. Uh, attacks are not anything to get excited about. There's that full art Professor uh, Oak setup again. And here is that full art version of Piplup. Again, same as the basic, but it's got a printing with Dawn in the background, which is kind of cool. And another player got the regular version of Reshram and Zekrom GX, which is going to be very powerful in this format, I believe. And speaking of powerful, this uh, Lowland Persian GX has an ability called Smug Face. Uh, it prevents the effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon by your opponent's tag team Pokemon, Ultra Beast, or Pokemon with special energy attached to them. Well, that is the best of what we saw at the Just Games Lexington event. Uh, Togepi and Cleffa and Iglybuff GX rolled everything I played, including a massive 360 damage one-hit KO on an Arceus and Dialga and Palkia tag team as I hit it for weakness. Um, however, as this is our uh, junior league, meaning that almost everyone that attends it is still in the junior division, I passed on my extra packs for my wins to my opponents, as we were there for them, and not for ourselves. Uh, Noah won all of his games as well, 
Noah and I had never matched up as a uh, few last round early departures threw off the tournament structure, um, which is also a side effect of the all junior field. I guess they had to get home to dinner, but uh, everyone seemed to enjoy the event, which was good to see. We are uh, not going to try and analyze this set, at least not today, as it is so massive uh, to the tune of 271 cards that we know of at the moment. Uh, it would take us hours to discuss it, plus we're still trying to figure out everything in it um, for ourselves. So I guess our only comment at the moment is that uh, the set leaves us pining for the days of those 115 card sets, which was not that long ago. Um, uh, where they go from here is a choice that is beyond our control. So anyway, come see us this weekend at our last two pre-releases, uh, Saturday in Lynchburg and Sunday in Fincastle. I uh, hope to see you there. Be sure to like us below and come see us at a show near you. Thanks for watching.